Hi, I'm Sam and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we have another massive Revolve haul. This one's a little bit different than last time. In my last video, I kind of went for all of the expensive, fancy things on Revolve to see if they were worth it. And in this video, I am trying all pieces that are around 100 or under $100 Canadian. So if you're American, even cheaper than that. Just a quick note before we get into trying everything on, I ordered this stuff, filmed this video, and edited and posted it very, very quickly because there is a sale going on right now at Revolve, and a lot of these pieces that I'm going to show you are part of that sale, and in some cases, that is why they are more affordable. So I just wanted to do it quick so that hopefully the sale prices are still good, everything's still on, and I used a discount code. I will put it on the screen here. It was candy. I'm not sure if it's still working, but I'm really hoping that it is for all of you. If you wanna order anything in this video, I've linked it all below as I always do. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> what should we try on first? have to be really careful of this one. I know it's only September, but I feel like the festive season is coming up. And for all you other Libras out there, our birthdays are very, very soon. So I thought I'd do some fun sparkly dresses. This one is a little dangerous. Uh, it's very free flowing and you definitely would need some boob tape. This is a really comfortable dress and it looks pretty like fancy and expensive. The sleeves are very, very long which I always appreciate and though this skirt is really really short when I'm wearing it you know you can't see my whole bum out which is great I do think I would be kind of pulling it down the whole evening but I'm 5'10 so if you're shorter than me this is going to be a little bit longer on you just anyways okay folks we have our first sparkle explosion dress what I mean by that is my hands covered in sparkles my floor covered in sparkles this dress is one of those dresses that just sheds glitter everywhere it goes personally i'm not a huge fan of when that happens because i hate having random specks of glitter everywhere but this dress might be worth it. I think I love this dress. It's New York Fashion Week right now as I'm filming this video and I feel like I've been seeing dresses like this even in a super sheer fabric as well, but just like very sparkly little dresses all over the place, a lot of one shoulder action going on. And I think that this is a really good, less expensive ah! dupe for some of those dresses. I would highly recommend this. I feel like it is beautiful. Look at the shine on this dress. I thought this one looked really cool online and it's not disappointing in person either. This one has like an overlay to it. So it's just a basic slip dress underneath. And then it has this sheer, I think it's like organza over the top. I will say this one is not stretchy whatsoever. And compared to the blue dress, which I got in a size medium. This one is a small and I have some regrets about that. Both in the length of the skirt, I feel like it is just barely keeping things appropriate back there. And also in the tightness around specifically my rib cage, like I can't fully take a deep breath because I feel like I will break this dress. I do also have a loose thread over here. I wanted to point out because maybe the quality isn't amazing on this piece, but I do feel like it looks fantastic. And if this was in a size medium, it might just be my birthday dress this year. Another detail about this dress is that if you're nitpicky it might bother you is just the stitching. So these both have darts in them, the lining and the underneath little slip. And because they are not fully connected, they do shift around a little bit. So you can kind of see the darts in the slip dress underneath through the sheer organza on the outside. This one's definitely 
definitely not, you know, my everyday typical outfit, but I do think that it's pretty fun. This corset in particular, I was really excited for. I feel like the little strap detail with the bow is really cute, although it's kind of like hard to tie and make it look as great as it did in the photo online. Other than that though, I feel like this is great. I love how it is a combo of being sheer down here, but then obviously that the boob parts are lined. My only bone to pick with this corset, see what I did there, is the same exact thing that I have an issue with with every corset that I try on. My body is a little bit more like straight up and down. I don't have a super snatched in waist. And so with corsets, I find they always dig in and they'll just kind of like end up sitting a little bit uncomfortably on the sides here. These shorts are some little faux leather. They are quite comfortable and they fit really well, which is always a tricky thing with faux leather shorts, I find. And I have another pair of faux leather shorts I'll be trying on later on in the video. So that is huge. Although I do wish they were just a touch a touch longer and i'm not the biggest fan of these i would probably wish that these were black i think with these shorts i would mostly style them with tights underneath them for fall this top has been in my revolve favorites list for quite a while and i love it even though it's very impractical i would say so if i raise my arms too high like there's definitely going to be some boob showing but other than that it's very comfortable because this knit is just super super soft i didn't realize it had thumb holes but i kind of love that it just feels so cozy and this top the off the shoulder detail there are elastics here and because of the thumb holes i feel like it's not coming up here at all which is amazing for some weird reason also it feels very warm which is super strange because it's like literally not even covering my body but I like it. I love being cozy and warm. These jeans, I believe, were just over $100 Canadian, and I feel like they're a pretty good find. They fit really nicely. I got my regular size. I'm pretty much always a size 28. I feel like that is great. I wouldn't want to change anything about these at all. I think they fit really nicely. Like in the butt, they look good. And the only thing is just because of the like looser style of the pant, if you're sitting down or you're kind of standing in a weird way, like you're going to get a little bit of this extra crotch material, maybe looking a little weird. But other than that, these are like a perfect fitting pair of pants. Now we have this gold sparkly top, which is also from Super Down. And then these pants, which are Rolas. I think that's an Australian company. I feel like I see Australian influencers talk about them and they have a pretty great fit, I will say. They are tighter than I normally wear my jeans these days. Like I'm usually going for something a little bit more baggy, but if I wanted something that fit more snug, these are fantastic. I feel like they are tight, but they're not like digging in anywhere. The rise on them is good. They're nice and high-waisted. And I feel like they are very flattering on the butt as well, which is always appreciated. While I am most definitely vibing with these jeans, this top is a little uncomfortable. I like the way it looks. I, I love this style with the tanks that go in a little bit further here. I think it's just like really beautiful and flattering on everybody. However, this is the type of sparkly material that is itchy. So I'm really not a fan of this top, especially right now, like I'm not wearing a bra with it and it's just kind of like my boobs are itchy, which I don't, I just, it's unpleasant. We have this black off the shoulder sweater, which is unlike any off the shoulder sweater I've ever worn before, because this one is actually sewn on a diagonal. So this is the only way you can wear it. 
kind of genius because then it's not going to be moving all around but I feel like it looks kind of awkward in person. I tucked the sweater in because I thought it looked cuter but this is the actual length of the sweater so it is just like a little bit cropped. And this skirt as well immediately when I put it on I was a huge fan however upon further inspection this section here is a little bit off. Maybe it's just because I don't have enough butt to like pull the fabric tight or something, but I don't know. It just is, it like sits a little weird. I wish that there weren't those seams there. I will fully admit this is a very unconventional outfit for me and I don't think I would wear these two pieces together. Actually, let's start with the shorts because these, I just would not wear at all. I feel like the cut is giving me a real diaper moment. They are super plasticky. The finishing on them, like the buttonhole and stuff, like it just looks and feels really cheap. These also have like loose threads galore. Um, I feel like this particular piece just was not made well. This top is very bold. I did not realize that it had thumb holes when I purchased it. I didn't realize like we're making tops with these again. Is it a new trend? However, this color I weirdly love. I I wasn't sure how it was going to look on me. I am normally not a big fan of like a bright red. This one I feel is kind of like an orangey color and the top design itself is wild like there's all this ruching up the front it's a turtleneck these sleeves it is very comfortable though because it's mesh i am not going to be keeping this top but i think i am going to be keeping my mind open to this color in the future this one is okay it is just okay. It is comfortable. I love how stretchy it is. This point here, I, I'm not in love with, but other than that, like this is a great vacation or summer outfit. However, <laughs> fabric is really where this set loses its charm because it's quite thin. And I just feel like, you know, for over a hundred dollars, you could get a similar set somewhere else for a lot less expensive. This one, I do like that it has the silicone all the way across to keep the top up. However, I just feel like this one's not totally worth it unless you are in love with this style and you can't find it anywhere else. I think this is a really cute sweater. It kind of has that like grandpa vibe to it. And I love all of these details, especially this collar. This sweater is 100% cotton, which it's kind of nice that it's not some synthetic material. However, it's not as soft as I was expecting it to be just on the fact that it does look like it's kind of fuzzy. So keep that in mind, little disclaimer. I love this sweater. I wish it was a little bit softer, but I feel like this is a really good fall staple for just those like cozy days and I think that it does look super cute just tucked into denim or I feel like with a pleated skirt it would be just adorable as well. I love also how long the sleeves are on this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it has been helpful and hopefully you found a few gems on Revolve that are a little bit more affordable that you might wanna to add to your basket. And if you are looking for any of the items that I've mentioned in this video, everything is in the description box below. It is all linked for you with my sizing and all those details in case I forgot to mention something here or there in the video. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. It really is the best free way that you can support me and make sure that I continue making more videos like this. So with that, I guess I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new fashion video and I'll see you on Sunday with a vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.